Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Vu Tran who's the co-founder and chief growth officer of GoOne, an online learning platform which helps businesses provide onboarding, compliance, and professional development training to their staff. And I'm just curious, how does a medical doctor go on to um, co-found one of the hottest education tech companies out there? Look, um, I, I'm really blessed to be able to do something that I really love and I enjoy. Um, I work with my best mates. You mentioned Andrew before. We've been best friends since high school. So you know, we've spent our entire adult lives while going to university, doing the different degrees we did. I did medicine, he did economics and went on and he did his road scholarship at Oxford. Um, while we were doing all of this, we still ran different professional services and tech companies. So we've always been involved in tech. We started our first company when we were 16, you know, still in high school. So at the end of the day for me, you know, we're, we're also typical generation Y. We want to have our cake and eat it too. You know, it's not a matter of can we run, uh, you know, a global scale up? or go to university and, and or, or, you know, it's, it's a matter of how do we do both. And the thing I love most about working with Andrew, and, and I'm biased because he is my best mate, um, he always, he never asks me, can we do something? The question he always asks me is, how do we do something? And I hate it when he asks me that because when he asks me that question, he forces me to problem solve and work out how we solve a situation and not just give an answer as no, we can't or yes, we can't. You know, we have so many early career health professionals who, who use osmosis or in our audience. What's your advice to them about meeting the challenges of the COVID moment as well as approaching their careers in healthcare? Right now is the time to be taking that risk and doing something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. Because from your first day of medical school, it's one of the only professions where from your first day of medical school, you could potentially plan out the next 30 years of your life. You know, I'm going to go through do my university degree, get honours, do a PhD, become an orthopaedic surgeon, work in, the pri work in this system, work my way up, get a private list, and by the time I'm 45, I've got a private practice where I'm doing this number of surgeries and I'm in semi-retirement. I don't know. Like, you know, it's the only profession where you can almost map out every step of the next 20 to 30 years. And what I'd say to you is that you become less – you become, sorry, more risk-averse as you get older because you have more commitments and you've got you've got more to lose. But the thing is, early on is actually when you're less willing to take those those risks. And I think you should flip it on its head. Before you get bored or before you realize that, you know, you should be doing more in your, your 40, 50 or 60, do that now when you're in your 20s or 30s and do it now and actually find something you love and experiment and understand and go, you know what, I tried starting a business when I was in medical school or two years after finishing medical school and I realized it wasn't for me. Do that now rather than 10 years from now uh, where you've got more on your plate and the ability to take those risks is decreased. So I'd say, you know, to quote Nike, just do it. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.